Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Swift Learn, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In Swift Learn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule. And also we handle custom requests. A key feature is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests. And all the practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So students, those are new, book a free trial class today. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel, hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I am Shishank sir and today I will be teaching you about the topic triangles and its properties. Yes, so today's objective will be, learning objective will be, we are going to introduce what are triangles, we are going to discuss about the medians of a triangle and altitude of a triangle. Okay, so what is the minimum number of required lines to form a closed figure. Can you guess this? If I draw a single line, it's a line. It's not a geometrical figure and it's not closed. If I draw one more line attached to it, it is an angle, not a geometrical figure. Now, if I close this, okay, if I close this, so that will become a triangle. Yes, so the minimum number of required lines to form a closed figure is three at least three lines are required to form a closed figure and the closed figure thus obtained is called a triangle yes so triangle has three sides if abc is a triangle a b b c a c are the three sides it has three interior angles angle b a c angle a b c angle a c all the three interior angles okay so let me choose with the color black this is one angle this is the second angle this is the third angle this is the first side second side and the third side okay and three vertices see this is one vertice this is the other vertice and this is also the third vertices okay so the side opposite to vertex a is bc opposite to this is dc so it has all the sides, all the uh, vertices and all the angles. Red colored area is the interior of the triangle whereas the green color is known as exterior of the triangle and the black line is called the boundary. Okay, where do you see triangular symbols in the road signs? Okay, some designs in the hut. Okay, the nachos which are of triangles. Okay, in fact, there is a building which is triangle. We also see in bridges and all in frames. Okay, so there is a building called Flat Iron Building in New York whose shape is of triangular prism. Okay, now classifications of triangle based on sides and based on angles. Triangle can be classified based on sides as skeleton triangle where all the sides are different in measure. Isosceles triangle where two sides are equal and the other side is not and equilateral triangle by the name it indicates all the sides of the triangle are equal. Triangles can also be classified based on the angles. A triangle having angle less than 90 degree is called acute angle triangle. A triangle with angle of 90 degree is called right angled triangle and a triangle greater than 90 degree is called obtuse angle triangle. Now test yourself, classify it according to sides and according to angle. Now, let us classify these triangles according to sides first. So 7 and 7, these two sides are same. So this is based on sides. This is a isosceles triangle. 7.2, 7.2, 7.2. All the sides are equal. So, this is equilateral triangle. Here, all the sides are different. It is scaling triangle. Now based on angles, here one of the angles is 90 degrees. So, this is right angled triangle. 
Here, since it is an equilateral triangle, all the angles are equal to 60 degrees. This is an acute angle triangle. And this one, we can see one of the angle is greater than 90. So, it is obtuse angle triangle. Yes. Okay. Interesting fact. Read the interesting fact, guys. If you have garlic or onion smell on your hand, if you touch the stainless steel, it will absorb all the odor. So, let's move to the topic median of a triangle. Medians of a triangle. Okay. Now, see, there is a triangle ABC. Now, bisect the line BC. Bisect means what? Divide the line into two equal parts. How to do? Okay. We have learned in geometry, take more than the half of the length of BC, draw two arcs up and down. With C as a center, draw two arcs again. You join that, you will get the line BC has been bisected. And the, let the intersection point be D. Okay, now the opposite vertex is A. Join the opposite vertex and the midpoint, you get a median. So, what is a median? A median is a line segment joining the midpoint of a line of a, one side of the triangle and opposite vertex. Line connecting opposite vertex with the midpoint is called as the median. Now, is more, are more medians possible? Yes, of course. So, see here, EC is also a median, BG is also a median. So, in total, we can draw three medians. A triangle will be having three medians. Okay. So, visualize this triangle median. Okay. So, let's skip that. Let's check this out. How many medians are possible in a triangle? Yes, we discussed now. So, it is having three sides. So, three medians are possible. So, can a median stay outside the triangle? If yes, draw the figure and explain. Okay, see, median is what by definition? Median is line segment joining the middle part of the line and opposite vertex. So, no matter how you draw a triangle, either it is isosceles, acute, or obtuse, okay, the midpoint will be always inside the triangle, right? So, median cannot be drawn outside the triangle it always will be inside the triangle yes now let's move to the topic altitude of a triangle so how do you measure the height of any triangle okay so this is a triangle abc ap is the height of the triangle okay ap is 90 degrees to the base and it is touching the vertex so this is the height of the triangle also known as altitude now the height of the triangle will be distance ap which will be the shortest distance in order to get the shortest distance ap should be perpendicular to cb the line segment ap is the altitude of the triangle abc and altitude is a line segment drawn from a vertex of a triangle to the opposite side of the vertex yes now, let's visualize. I think this is important. So, let's check this out if it is important. Okay. Now, see this. See this. Okay. Now, this is known as altitude. Okay. It should be the shortest distance. Okay. Perpendicular to the base. So, this is coming outside. Okay. Doesn't matter whether it is outside, whether it is inside, it should be shortest distance, it should be perpendicular to the base, and it should be joining vertices. Similarly, the same thing. How many uh, altitudes can a triangle have? A triangle can have three altitudes as well. Okay, draw all the altitudes of a right angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle. Okay, draw all altitudes of a right angle triangle. Okay, so see this, this is a right angle triangle, we have three altitude, what are those three altitudes? Okay, so BD is altitude, okay, so BD is perpendicular to AC and it is joining the vertex P, okay, AB is the altitude, okay, AB is perpendicular to BC and it is touching the vertex a same bc bc is perpendicular to ab and it is uh, drawn from the vertex c and this is 90 degrees okay 
so this three are the altitudes draw the altitudes for the obtuse triangle the triangle okay now see pqr is the obtuse triangle triangle so px is the altitude which is perpendicular to the base qr and joining the vertex p qy is same this is also px is a altitude qy is a altitude now see this r rz okay this is also altitude it is also perpendicular to pz okay so rz is also an altitude got this yes this three are the answers next how many altitudes are possible in a triangle same we discussed three altitudes are possible name ak and al in the triangle okay from the triangle i think al is the midpoint of cv so al is the um, median and ak is the altitude you have 50 biscuits how many times you can how many times can you subtract 5 from 50 biscuits okay think about this can altitude and median of be same for a triangle explain if it is a if it is a equilateral triangle the altitudes and medians are same all the three altitudes all the three medians are same if it is a isosceles triangle i'm sure one altitude and one medians are same remaining are not same if it is a scalene triangle it is not same okay so this is the explanation draw the triangle pqr and QS as an altitude in exterior of the triangle. Okay. So, yes. Now, see this. So, to draw an exterior angle, you should choose obtuse, obtuse angled triangle. Then only you can draw an exterior altitude. Now, P, Q, R, S. This is P. This is Q. This is R. Okay. Now, this dotted line which I have drawn, let it be QS. Okay, QS is an altitude in the exterior of the triangle. Okay, this is how you draw this. Okay, so let's play this quiz and finish off this chapter. The following are the dimensions of the triangle, which is a scalene triangle, where all the dimensions are different. This is a scalene triangle. Rest of them are isosceles and equilateral. Is it possible to have a triangle in which each angle is less than 60? Okay. So, all the angles less than 60? No. Okay. So, minimum all the angles should be at least 60. Ek zada hai to dusra zada ho sakta hai. Tino less than 60. So, see. Less than 60, all the three angles 59, 59, 59, add them, you get 177. Sum of interior angles of the triangle should be equal to 180 degrees, which is not case, so it is false. Yes, how many vertices does a triangle have? Three vertices. If all the angles of a triangle are acute, then the triangle is called as acute angled triangle. Okay. Is it possible to have a triangle in which two of the angles are obtuse? No. Okay. So, 91 plus 91 plus, there you go. Minimum is 91, right? So, 91 plus 91, here only it is crossing 180. So, not possible. Okay. So, yes. So, that's all for today. So, guys, what did we learn? We learned introduction of triangle, medians of a triangle, altitude of a triangle. That's all for today then. Students, those on you, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update.